So hello guys. Today I want to point out some of the devices and methods uh, here at Bydemus that we offer uh, regarding the uh, COVID-19 virus. Uh, one of the ways uh, of battling the virus is definitely thermal cameras uh, with their ability to measure uh, body temperature. Um, and in that way, we can get more information regarding the uh, possible infected individuals or uh, individuals with uh, heightened uh, temper body temperature. <laughs> Uh, what I have here is uh, I have a presentation and I also have uh, uh, a couple of videos I want to show you. So let me start with the presentation and let me just answer one message here. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So the devices I'll be talking about are. Um, Sorry, brands are Hyundai, Airspace, ZK Teco, and some of the Vialsi stuff as well. I'm going to start with the handheld devices. Uh, so one of the devices uh, we have is uh, this uh, SAM 4641. So this device is uh, a handheld device, uh, definitely uh, no contact device, uh, temperature measurement. Uh, which can be operated in two modes. So first mode would be single mode, which is basically holding the device in your hand and uh, uh, scanning the person in front of you for the, the body temperature. Uh, as you can see here, recommended range of scan is between 0 0.7 and 0 0.9 meters. And on the screen, you would get the uh, temperature. So this single mode means that uh, you basically point the device uh, to a person's uh, head or forehead. Uh, you press the trigger and you receive the measurement. Uh, and you can also save this measurement. You can save it as a screenshot. Uh, second mode is uh, speed mode. As you can see on the picture, uh, it would mean basically mounting the device on the tripod which should be between 1.3 and 1.5 meter in height. And the people that will be scanned should be around 0 0.6 to 1.2 meters, well, uh, approximately, right? Uh, for you to get the, the scan. And this mode is called speed mode. And what happens is that the camera remains in this acquisition mode where it will detect the, the temperature of the person that's uh, coming into the frame. Accuracy of this device is uh, around 0 0.5 degrees Celsius. One important thing to mention regarding this device is that it's uh, only visual alert, no audible alarms with this one. Okay, there's some uh, frequently, frequently asked questions regarding this device. So uh, can it uh, record videos or only capture images? So it's only for images. Uh, can you work with the device while it's uh, being powered on, while it's uh, uh, connected with the cable? Yes, you can, you can do that as well. Uh, uh, the default range to, to, sell, to uh, measure the temperature is, sorry, the default alert uh, temperature would be around 37.3 degrees, but you can uh, switch that range around. So it can uh, notify you of a higher temperature uh, with with a lower value, if if it's on thirty seven degrees, for example, uh, tripod is optional. It doesn't come with the camera. Uh, cannot can it be used uh, to with the external monitor? No, uh, it cannot be connected to the external monitor. Uh, what is the use of the USB C connector? Is it only for charging? No, it's used for uh, transfer of uh, the data you took with the device. To, to your PC and um, or, or whatever, wherever you want to sw uh, switch it to. Uh, regarding the, the the precision of the temperature readings uh, in a in a different environment uh, from from the one stated in the in the data sheet. Um, so 
so the, the the temperature measurements should be done around uh, in, a, in a room that has approximately 25 degrees Celsius. If it's done with, uh, for example, 32 degrees uh, temperature, uh, the precision of 0 0.5 uh, degrees uh, cannot be um, guaranteed. So there are some uh, rules that have to be uh, adhered in order to get uh, um, specified uh, and correct readings. So lower is also okay, lower than uh, 25? Uh, yes, but it shouldn't go much lower than 25. So 25 is what has been tested with, uh, with the device. 25 is hot, eh? Hey. Well, it's, uh, it's not too hot, I'd say. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> that, that's why it should be, uh, should be in a control environment, no uh, outside or anything like that. Okay, so another device we have is uh, SAM 4642. Uh, this device is a bit more complicated than the, than the previous one. Uh, it, it offers a visible and thermal image. And uh, you can see here on the right, uh, again, some, some of the requested uh, uh, parameters. So the equipment should be approximately from 3.5 to 4.5 meters from the person that's being uh, measured and uh, the tripod height should be around 1.6 meters. So there's quite a lot of these uh, requirements for the temperatures to be taken uh, accurately. Uh, accuracy is a bit better than the previous device. It's around 0 0.4 degrees Celsius. Uh, and this device can measure uh, multiple people. So it can uh, measure a group of people for, for their uh, body temperature. Uh, and one other thing is that this device supports visual and audible alerts. Okay, another device is uh, similar to the first one, but again, it's it's uh, pretty similar. Similar, it's a handheld device. Uh, optimal measuring distance should be around one meter. Um, this device has only visual alert, while the audible can be done with the uh, with the software. What else is important to mention? Uh, yeah, so the accuracy is same as before. It's around 0 0.5 degrees Celsius. Uh, you can also, there's also possibility of merging the thermal and optical image. So you can get, uh, like on this picture, you can get better representation of the environment where the measuring is uh, being done. Uh, battery allows for, well, they, all these handheld devices that I mentioned so far uh, have a Kind of similar uh, battery duration, which is around. So this one has around six hours, and uh, the previous. So th this one here, this one here, here is around eight hours. Well, it it definitely depends how how you're using it. Okay, so another device we have is uh, Hyundai eight five three. Uh, this device has a visible image of 8 megapixel and a thermal image as well. And you can see the optimal measuring distance is a bit higher than, than the rest. So it, you can measure uh, from 1 to 1.5 to 3 meters. And it supports visual and audible alert. And you can see here on the bottom, on the left, there's also uh, tripods available for it. So, yeah. Uh, last time I saw, we we have uh, even more of these uh, handheld devices. So the ones I mentioned are not uh, all all of them. Uh, next section would be thermal cameras. So we got uh, different brands of thermal cameras. Uh, we also got some OEM cameras. Uh, reference for this one would be TCB1. Um, so this camera, for example, has a thermal optic of. Uh, 400 by 300 and 30 millimeter lens, visible optic uh, two megapixel, eight millimeter lens, and it has a couple of outputs that can be uh, used, inputs and outputs that can be used with uh, to get uh, warnings uh, from the camera. It also has a built-in light and siren, and uh, the accuracy of this camera without the, the bl additional black body is, uh, well, about, one degree Celsius, and we with the black body, it, it comes uh, down to accuracy of uh, 
plus minus uh, 0 0.3 degrees Celsius. Maximum measuring distance with this camera would be around three meters. <clears throat> so uh, this camera, you can see some uh, accessories like tripod adapter for the tripod. You, you can see them here and, and their references. Uh, we also got some uh, Hyundai cameras, Hyundai solutions for uh, fever uh, measuring. Um, so we got quite a few of them and well, basically what the differences would be is uh, they would more or less, uh, all of them, they would have similar accuracy, which is 0 0.5 uh, without plug body and with plug body, it comes down to 0 0.3 degrees Celsius. So definitely with plug body, it's, it, uh, it uh, has more uh, accuracy with, with the uh, temperature measurement. The difference is uh, that uh, some of them have like uh, Hue 848, they have a higher thermal uh, resolution, which would uh, provide for for more, uh, so for max, maximum, di maximum distance for measurement to be higher. So uh, if you compare 848 with 849, you can see that uh, 849 has a maximum distance from 1.5 to 3 meters, while 848 can measure from 2 to 9 meters. And then again, it comes down to what's recommended and recommended is five meters. So, yeah. Uh, also, there's a difference that uh, 848 uh, we would, uh, wouldn't have any lights or sirens and 849 would have it. It all depends on what you want, basically, what you want from the camera. Uh, yeah, I think I've seen on the website, I've seen, seen even more uh, devices, even more uh, Hyundai cameras of different uh, parameter, uh, sorry, specifications. Uh, here we have some uh, recorders as well uh, that can work with with uh, with those cameras, and you can see the reference for the black body HYU 854. So the camera fits in this black body, which uh, levels out it the the accuracy of the of the measurement by two point by zero point two uh, degrees. If if that's uh, of some uh, uh, importance, well, it definitely is. Uh, and the tripod that would be used with these cameras is Sam forty six forty three. Uh, here you can see the example of how how the setup would look. So you got the tripod of the two point five meters height. You got the camera connected to it, and the camera connected directly into the laptop where uh, this woman is. Uh, um, watching the measure measurements uh, from uh, from the software. Uh, software would be used. Use we got the software that's used with these measurements. Uh, it's basically upgraded version of uh, the previous softwares, and uh, we can provide those as well. Uh, here you can see how the if if, the, if this camera has a dual lens, most of them do. You would see how, uh, how basically how it's set up. So. You got the optical and thermal channels for the camera. Okay, uh, this is showing uh, what configuration has to be done in order to get these uh, fever measurements. So, one of the first thing that you want to do is you want to go into the into the system maintenance and as VCA resource type, you want to choose body thermometry. Then, uh, well. I'm not going to go through all of these. These these are definitely done when you have the camera and you want to set it up in the shortest, shortest amount of time. Uh, what you would have to do is you would have to enable some rules and then you can choose uh, what information you want to uh, show on the on the stream. So you definitely want to set the distance uh, at which you will measure uh, temperature, body temperature and for example, this emissivity, you want to have it set on 0 0.98 because uh, this value is set for human skin. Uh, then you got some more uh, options, like uh, you want to enable face detection and uh, display uh, temperature options. And some of the suggestions, like um, disabling some of the other options that are used with, with the cameras and uh, enabling some other options. You You also have to set uh, uh, some distances uh, in the um, 
So how uh, far uh, the, the, the measurements will be done uh, with the camera. Uh, you can also set uh, parameters like uh, what's the pre well, same as other thermal cameras, but uh, this one would be used for, for, few, for uh, people. So you want to set the pre-alarm temperature and the uh, alarm temperature. So let's say a certain person has a 37 uh, uh, degrees temperature. Uh, you want to uh, trigger the pre-alarm. And if uh, it goes up to, I don't know, 38 degrees, you want to be full alarm, which means that uh, this person has to be either hospitalized or tested or something. Okay. and. Uh, in case you are using uh, black body, you want to enable that uh, in the settings, or if you're not, you want to disable the option. Okay, and uh, you also want to enable body temperature compensation uh, with a rec recommended leaving the rest of the parameters as they are as default. And here are some advices uh, that should be done when setting the uh, ther thermal fever cameras. So it's definitely uh, recommended to have this camera in indoor environment where there's no wind, there's no uh, uh, variating uh, temperatures and uh, other uh, factors. So there should definitely be uh, uh, like a screening zone uh, where you want uh, people entering the building to go through. And that way, let's say you have a line on the floor, which uh, tells people to stop there for a couple of moments and uh, so they can be measured. Uh, definitely avoid backgrounds that are too crowded. So we will backdrop of the measured person should be uh, as clear as possible. So there's no, no confusions with the measurements. Uh, camera before it's, it's uh, put to use, put to measurements, it should work at least 30 minutes to kind of get the stabilized temperature. So the camera needs to have some stable temperature after it uh, turns on and heats up uh, before doing the body measurements, body temperature measurements. Uh, and as you can see here on the fourth mark, if there's a large difference between the outdoor temperature and the indoor temperature, uh, you want you don't want to measure people people straight away. So if people uh, enter the building from from outside and outside is like minus ten degrees, you don't want to measure them immediately. You want you want them to be uh, inside at least five minutes, ten minutes to to get the, the the normal temperature that they actually have. And of course, uh, follow the guidance of the required temperature measurement distance. So you you want to measure the this uh, you want to uh, measure body temperatures of of people that are uh, in in inside the required uh, distance from the camera so i don't know it depends on the camera definitely but a couple of meters 2 3 meters okay uh, we also got some airspace uh, kits so we got the uh, sam 4646 uh, this camera would be used for uh, for example measuring uh, temperature of multiple people. As you can see on this picture, we got uh, quite a bunch here of people uh, having their uh, me uh, temperatures taken by the camera. And you got these little rectangles in which uh, you can see, well, rectangles can be um, of certain colors and you can see the temperature on, on top of each uh, rectangle. So this kit would be, would consist of a thermal camera of the ceiling mount bracket and a black body unit. Uh, detection, recommended detection distance of this camera is uh, four meters. Uh, again, with the black body, they all keep around the same uh, accuracy, which is 0 0.3 degrees Celsius. Um, okay, and uh, yeah, so it says here that this camera can measure up to 30 targets. Well, I would say people, not targets. So uh, can measure 30 people at, at once for their temperatures. Uh, another one we have is SAM4647. Um, this kit consists of a thermal camera, of a black body unit, and uh, two 
two meter uh, basis, so it can go quite high. And uh, you got the switch and the management software. Uh, detection distance is a bit uh, better than the last one, which is from two to eight meters, and the same accuracy, 0 0.3 degrees Celsius with the black body. Uh, well, you can see some uh, resolutions here as well. So usually they're around 400 by 300 pixel for thermal and two megapixel for uh, visible um, lens and supports connection to PS. P uh, <coughs> the PC, of course, uh, where you can uh, connect to the software and you can get the uh, measurements. You can see here on the picture that's uh, quite a crowd and each of them is being measured uh, for, for the temperature. Uh, we also got some access control devices uh, that have incorporated uh, fever measurement features. So a couple of these devices are, are these two, so ZK123 and ZK130. Uh, these devices are, uh, are uh, well, ZK130 is biometric. Well, both of them are, but uh, how way they work is uh, they would detect uh, your face your, or your palm and uh, if you have or don't have mask and of course body temperature do your body temperature with the camera uh, zk123 has a maximum of 50000 face templates and the recognition speed of uh, of a face would be less than 0 0.3 seconds for each face and it also have a, a good uh, anti Phasing um, algorithm that can detect if you are using pictures or videos in in order to bypass the security and unlock the the door, you know. So you can't do that. No. Uh, so ZK one twenty three has a two megapixel uh, camera which is equipped with the VDR and the Starlight function as well, which allows you to uh, recognize faces in, well, conditions with uh, low lighting. lighting. Uh, measure, measuring distance for, uh, for this device would be from 30 to 50 centimeters. centimeters. Another thing for ZK130, so ZK130 as well has the uh, ability to uh, recognize faces, uh, scan palms, so the uh, palms would be scanned without uh, the need to physically touch the screen, so it would, it would scan the, uh, the palm from uh, a certain uh, small distance, so no need for, uh, for, for touches, for touching the, the screen. Uh, yeah, what I wanted to say is difference between uh, 130 and 123 is that 130 would also have a fingerprint scanner. Uh, and some other uh, differences like, uh, well, the different number of uh, faces that, that it can uh, uh, recognize and so on. So capacity of uh, ZK130 is 6,000 faces, phone capacity is 3,000. And fingerprint, you can have 10,000 fingerprints saved into it. Okay, so, so the way it works is, well, maybe I should just show you the video. I have a small video here. Okay, so here is how it looks. So you got the person coming to the, to the device. Uh, person will, will uh, access the, uh, will get close to, uh, to the device. It's gonna get its, uh, uh, measure temperature taken and it's gonna say okay mask wearing correctly and it's gonna let the person in then uh, you also got the version of uh, scanning the the palm so the palm is scanned and the temperature is, is measured and it's gonna let the person in Uh, access would be denied if person is not wearing a mask. So she can go in in that case. 
and if the uh, body temperature is like for this girl uh, 37.52 celsius it's gonna deny the access as well but it, it, she she still has the mask and it's saying mask wearing correctly Okay, so that's an example. I also have one other video with the uh, with the previous Sam forty six forty one. So so this device, as you can see, it's on a tripod and it's set to a speed mode, which which sees the your temperature, and uh, scans you. So in this case, uh, peop some person should be uh, at this device, so the person can see what are the temperatures measured. In this uh, mode, uh, no one's going to, of course, press the trigger and uh, save the screenshots of each person. So you can see here the temperature will be shown and a person can go, can proceed. So this guy is, what, what he's doing is, I, I think he has a warm drink up on his forehead. And you can see that it registers 41.4 degrees Celsius. That's an example of how this can be used on the on the tripod. Okay. Um, next thing I want to say is we also got some devices uh, for people counting that can be used together with these uh, fever detection devices. So one example is HYU519. Give me a second. Okay, so uh, this camera has uh, ability to, uh, it provides multiple streams and uh, they can do the separate count of people entering, people exiting, people walking by and so on. And all the information can be uh, processed with uh, these couple of devices from Vialsys like SAM 4466 or 4467. Depends how many uh, counting devices you plan to have. Um, and uh, these devices are also capable of giving you uh, daily, weekly, monthly, so on, uh, exports of, uh, of people that enter the specific space. So let's say you want to, you want to monitor how many people enter the, the building, you can uh, monitor that with this device, and then you can see if all of them have been scanned for the temperature, for fever. Uh, another solution that we have is, oh, sorry, I went ahead. Uh, we have Acribus, which can be paired with the Velsys. Um, so Acribus, it, it's available uh, as a, inside a kit with the Velsys data center. Uh, Acribus would be a uh, counting sensor, uh, same, similar to the previous one. It's able to uh, count multi-directional traffic in real time. Uh, and it can recognize complicated movements like, uh, I don't know, people uh, stopping. Let's say you have this device somewhere uh, uh, at the main gate and if people stop or people turn around in the spot or walk backwards or whatever, uh, it can uh, figure those uh, behaviors out. It um, allows a large counting area, so up to 4.5 meters, and it's easy to install, configure, manage, and maintain. Uh, it works with the it uh, so with this data center kit, and uh, it can what it can do it can provide you with uh, remote access either from browser or or mobile, uh, and it can give you uh, temporal uh, graphics like uh, like before like uh, daily, weekly, monthly ex uh, exports. So you, you can see how many people entered, ex exited, and so on, and uh, we also got the different uh, licenses, which allow you to have, uh, I don't know, you can have the standard one, which uh, supports two, actually two sensors. Um, and in this case, uh, you can have admin user and two other viewer users and 32 gigabits of storage. Professional would have a double that amount, which is expandable to 16 devices. Uh, same amount of users that are able to be, uh, able to monitor the situation and uh, a bit better storage of 500 uh, gigabytes. And you got the largest one, which is enterprise. You you have a uh, ability to have 20 devices, 20 sensors, 20 data feeds, 
and uh, have admin user and 10 additional uh, viewer users. So yeah, I guess depending on the needs and the uh, size of the place you want to install this uh, uh, device, you can have different uh, uh, kits. And uh, that would pretty much be everything. Thanks for the attention. And I would, I'm, I'm just going to give you a small link here. Uh, I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want. Give me a moment. I'm going to post it right here. So if you want, you can uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can find uh, different videos of different uh, brands. And uh, there's some useful videos as well. Uh, yeah. If you want to do that, you can do that. Is there any questions? I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, Ronnie, any questions? Yeah, wait a second. Is that working now? Or... Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you, yes. Um, have you seen them working or is it just theory? Sorry, what? Have you seen, have you seen the devices actually working or is it... I've seen them working on the videos. I haven't seen them uh, in real yeah, life. Okay. Yes, yes. If, I, I, I've heard some stories. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good, good or bad? I, have, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put too much investment in it. All right. I've heard. I've heard. How, as, as, uh, um, now, yeah. Okay. They were not. They were not. Um, they were not. Uh, a, a, a CCTV company, so they were doing um, they're doing uh, TV TV setups and so on. So, for example, they they, they are servicing the San San uh, St. Vincent's Hotel uh, Hospital, <laughs> the St. Vincent's Hospital, and um, so they thought, now yeah, maybe we um, we put we give them um, a try on a, on a temper temper uh, temp temperature measurement system. Yeah, so they invested. They invested about ten thousand euros. They bought it from that um, Dahua supplier in Cork. Okay. And after three weeks, that Vincent's Hospital said, "I know you can take it out. We don't take it." Oh my God. <laughs> so they're hoping now that 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 KD Electronics in Cork will will take the the equipment Ooh, back. I can't allow that. <laughs> Just, what do you think about that as a salesperson? <laughs> uh, what well, think about this? Uh, if I, my only, uh, my my own opinion is, uh, people are uh, trying to uh, earn money uh, that over the debt, down. over the debt of. Uh, I can tell you, I was this morning uh, in uh, for a cup for uh, with, I had a problem with a client, but it was uh, I was happy because uh, at the end it was not a problem. But uh, we were on a, on a, uh, at a, at a, a big uh, a big house uh, with thermal cameras around. And uh, the problem was uh, what I had was that uh, all the six thermal cameras they uh, were red because uh, it was it was is getting hotter and hotter in the Netherlands uh, same like Ireland maybe last week it was uh, yeah it was uh, I don't know 20 24 degrees or something 25 right. but the problem was we, so much, yeah. Yeah, but the, the, the problem what we had in, uh, in uh, at that site was that uh, all the thermal cameras uh, became red bit by bit. Yeah. So All right. uh, what was inside in the setup uh, was arranged was uh, when the camera uh, sees a temperature above 20, 20 degrees is going to create uh, everything in red. So it was a, a setup uh, issue. Yeah. OK. Yeah, that's that's a problem as well. Definitely. So, so these and I I'm, I'm maybe I'm a little bit rude what I say. So these fucking Chinese people. Yeah. <laughs> They use these. Uh, this uh, I think this uh, uh, rule in the camera and change it into uh, a visible uh, uh, temperature uh, system. So instead of red, they uh, they show you a kind of temperature. I'm, I'm sure there's more to it. I'm sure it's not just like that. You know, just simple as that. But, oh, yeah, but it's uh, it's a it's a time for uh, for earning, I guess. Yeah. But it's also. There is also a difference in countries. Eh? Uh, yeah, yeah. In Spain and Italy, there is more shit than in, the, for example, in the Netherlands. I'm talking about the Netherlands. So, uh, so the, many, the how many requests do I receive? Uh, yes, I receive uh, maybe uh, 
20 or 30 uh, questions. Not so, it's not so much. And then I say the camera has a buying cost 6,000, between 6 and 10,000. And then I say, oh, let it go. Yeah, that's, the, that's the other thing. Yeah? When, when there's, there's, there's interest, and then when you, when, you, when, you, when you tell the price, then it's like with the, no it's like with the, with the uh, auto, automatic number plate cameras where the, the. Hello? Hello, Ronnie. Oh, it seems Ronnie's connection died out. Oh, a Corona, a Corona kick. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, dear. Oh, it will come back. Yeah, probably. But that's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I, I, I sold now two, the sum, uh, yeah. four, six, five ones. So uh, it's, uh, from another uh, Chinese supplier. No. Oh, the, the the handheld devices yeah but you can use it also with a monitor i just plugged my cable okay yeah, yeah we hear you now we hear you now so what the license plate the license plate you are telling yeah no i said decide the license plate and here there we, we get the yeah, an example now from the midlands uh, he wants to have he wants to have a, a, a number plate right? he wants to see every number plate of every car passing by so first of all you ask him if he is aware of Data protection uh, legislation, oh, and then right. yeah. you, tell him, you tell him an approximate price, and then he's he's looking at you like, "Naya, yeah, you're stupid," and says, "Naya, yeah, but he yeah. just has 500 euros to invest." Now, nah? <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so it's the same. It would be it will be probably the same as the um, with the. Um, uh, users, but. Yeah, it, 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 it would be a budgeting issue, no? Yeah, but the one you see now, for it, example, it, the, the, you see now the SOM 4651. It's uh, a camera, uh, uh, it's not so uh, not, not so expensive, expensive below 1,000. Uh, yeah. uh, I don't know, you have yeah. euros in Ireland or? Uh, euro or pound? Say it again? Do you have euros in Ireland or pounds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so about 900 what? euros, 900 euros, something like this, is this camera. I sold now uh, two, two pieces. I, uh, next week we have them stock in them in stock because of the price and uh, because it's it's okay. But uh, you can use it with a PC and you can show the temperature. And that's it. Yeah, definitely useful. Yeah. And it's because, not because uh, of say that is something because. There, there, there will be, there will be demand on, on, on something, no? especially here. I mean, my, my wife is working for, for IBM, and they said before they are opening the center, they will have some kind of measuring um, uh, uh, temperature measure uh, system in place. Right? Uh, and, and, and since, since, since they are, um, I think a thousand people or so, they probably, they probably will, will do something. Uh, more, um, they can scan more people. You mean cheaper? No. Yeah. All right. Yeah, little yeah, bit, yeah. Little bit the device a little bit cheaper than than investing in a twenty thousand euros one 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 off. Um, system. Yeah, you can, uh, well, let's see. Let's see. You, if yeah. you create a, a a kind of route when people are going to via the entrance inside, then you can use this camera, and uh, it's okay for the price. Uh, okay, no. Because 10,000 10, euros. Have, uh, for which entrance, uh, yeah, no? yeah, but 6,000 6, euros or 10,000 euros is a lot of money for a camera. Huh? Oh, well. That's it, yeah. And you, you, you cannot help people. Uh, uh, here, my, my colleague, yeah. Sorry? Barry, Barry, Barry here, yeah, my, my colleague, he said he said that he, he, he read a couple of uh, articles about the Hikvision solution, which basically is. Um, it's, um, it's the Hyundai, and he said it seems to be quite. Uh, you, you need to have some experience to set them up, ne? otherwise. Um, uh, uh, he read something that that when when, when there's too much uh, when, when you have when you have too much glass or window window fronts and so on that that can disturb ah, yeah, yeah. The, the whole. Uh, you can only use it inside, and uh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Because a, a window is temperature, eh? it's temperature, the sun, the uh, temperature. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be as a as a backdrop of of a scan. The 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 window definitely gonna confuse it. So it should be camera should be pointing to inwards, not to the window or something like that. Yeah. 
So, so. But you cannot uh, solve the corona with this uh, camera. I can tell you. Oh no. It's better to stay inside and uh, yeah. maybe you, you maybe you have to find uh, five uh, women uh, for the future and then uh, stay inside. Oh, Ron is a married man. He doesn't think about other women anymore. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, but but yeah, it's, 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 uh, I just received a WhatsApp also from a client. Do you have this? I said yes. I have this. Uh, here at the prize, and then uh, yeah. He's going to uh, sh show to the client, and he will never bring. He will never call me back. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Never know. All right, guys. Thanks for. I, 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 would, I would I would say it is it is, it is starting now. Right? It's starting now when they are when they are all get, getting in some some policies how to how to open up safely. There will there will there will be demand. Right? It's just it's just it's just yeah. when when you see these ten thousand euros devices, then you you you, you probably be in the, in the right spot and say yeah that that is something very special but here these handhelds now they i would say that is that is the way to go uh yeah, there's, 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 better price, there's, yeah. there will be loads of demand in the next in the next couple of weeks no okay you have to see it also in a different way yeah? when you uh when you you have a shop and you are already locked down for two or three months you are not earning money yeah. so you have no money so uh well, then you are not going to spend your money because you need it yeah you can pay a, a salary to somebody for this camera so yeah it's uh huh? yeah it's 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 a different yeah, I'm thinking, way of, uh, I'm thinking thinking. More of the, of the yeah I'm, I'm thinking more of the a little bit larger uh centers here now i mean um where 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 a couple of people are, are have to work like they, <laughs> i was i was on i was on to um to my insurance and <laughs> somebody picked up and you clearly hear she was she had a laptop and not even a headset so you had these these echo now <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> she was always tapping on her laptop so basically all these people all these people they are um, they're working they're working from home now and i and i think there is quite some some uh, pressure on the on the management of these call center companies to to get them back um in into the centers and uh, they probably they have they have also an issue now there's a few people uh, there probably are several entrances so how do we get a cost effective solution uh, yeah. without spending uh, too much money and these handhelds then you can get you can get then 10 handhelds instead of one one central uh, uh, solution so i think that that, that there, there will be a demand no yeah oh, definitely now let's see let's see let's see all right okay, and nice. ciao take care okay bye 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 have a nice day see you bye bye you too bye bye